location in Gelvin and we are at the gas station that we did a night shoot at and we're back here the following day and we are photographing the car lights well, gotten a little bit harsh now but uh, just really an amazing backdrop of all sorts of stuff uh, looks like a Model A engine right there transmission Maybe a hot rod intake, updraft intake for a Model A. Lots of Model A parts. Flathead V8 over there. All sorts of stuff. Really cool signs. What an amazing backdrop. And now we're going to head off to our next location.
Hi, I'm Ken Smith with Ken Smith Gallery, and today I'm with Kevin and this amazing vehicle that we've taken out uh, all day today photographing throughout uh, Washington. So, Kevin, tell me a little bit about the history of this car. What makes it so unique? Uh, the car was uh, purchased probably 40 years ago in pieces that were in the back of a pickup truck. And um, my parents had a Model A parts business at one point and they were restoring the car and uh, they got to the point where the chassis was restored and my dad said, let's put uh, your sport coupe body, piece it together on my chassis because I really want to drive it and break it in. So we did that and, and uh, we uh, organized a tour around Oregon of just over a thousand miles with some other Model A enthusiasts. And uh, then shortly after that, my dad passed. And so we kind of kept the car together that way. So it was part me, part him. And uh, then through the years of driving it, um, we uh, also helped with some car shows down on the Oregon coast. And uh, at one point I decided, well, it would be really cool to paint a sign and put it on the spare tire on the back that said, seaside or bust and that was kind of a hit and so then the next year i had a wooden trunk in the in the rumble seat and so on and it just kind of evolved into a, a dust bowl theme that i kind of ran with and uh, it's been amazingly a fun time so this car didn't actually start out as a dust bowl car it started out as just uh, just pieced together Patched, patched together, together. and and your dad he called, gave, he, he called he, it patched, right? Right. All right. So how did the chicken coop come into that? Well, the... we adopted a, a stuffed rooster from a antique store, uh -huh. named him Handsome Henry, and he's often perched on the steering wheel. Gotcha. And so then we got some other stuffed little chicks and chickens, and it just kind of went with the Dust Bowl theme. So. So it's like, a coop. Yeah. So chicken gotcha. coop. <laughs> gotcha. Chicken coop. So, in reality, what would this? It, 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 what is the car itself? It's a twenty-eight Model A sport coupe. sport coupe. Okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, the body's all original. It, yeah. it hasn't been, uh, as best as you can tell, it hasn't been repainted. <laughs> Lots of patina. Yeah, a little mixture of parts, right? probably. You know. Little... So how many smiles to the gallon do you get? <laughs> Unmeasurable. Unmeasurable, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it gets about 14 or 15 miles per gallon, right. but the smiles are unmeasurable. Yeah. I know that following you today, uh, I saw a lot of rubbernecking <laughs> looking in the rearview mirror as, uh, as we were uh, bringing this on location. Yeah. So how many miles is on this vehicle? Uh, I've driven it over 18,000 miles. So 18,000? Yeah. And do you know the history as far as owners go? How many owners have changed hands? I, I don't. Okay. I don't. All right. Yeah. Now, I noticed that as I walked around, and, and uh, we'll certainly see some of that in photos, but as I walked around, you've got eggs yeah. in baskets. Tell me about well, the eggs. It's a chicken coop, so, yeah, they're... They're real eggs. We haven't hauled them out or anything. They just settle into the hay of straw, and uh, they they last as long as they'll last, which right. is quite a while, really. Okay. All right. Yeah. And then eventually they break, and yeah, sometimes. And then yeah. you know when they break, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can probably right. smell it. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. so, tell me about some of the items that you have on the car that are very unique. Oh, I noticed that you had a, the signs, right? You know. Uh, currently, today, we had a sign on there that says Washington or bust. Right. So um, I went with this Dust Bowl theme. So I put a Oklahoma plate on it, 1928, and kind of spelled the words out as you may have pronounced it from from there right. then. <laughs> and. Uh, so multiple signs, uh, you know, depending on where I'm traveling, 
Right. Um, you know, we've got standard things like uh, water bags, and I got uh, you know cowbells hanging on it. Right. And, Def we and definitely heard that. Mat, uh, you know, bed rolls and and a lot of just nostalgic things. Uh, tried to you know run with the the 30s theme right of what it would have looked like if everybody packed up their only belongings and headed towards california IA. yeah you know yeah so and so i noticed you got a lot of hoover yeah uh, hoover for president yeah. stuff so this is a 1928 model a at ford and 1928 was the campaign year for president hoover so i've kind of collected some of that stuff and it's on the car and and so on. So right, just right. again, just little history lessons here and there. So what about the the fishing poles and the and the uh, uh, the the, the creel? Uh, is that all kind of in that same era? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you even got a, a fake fish sticking out the yep. the hole in the I saw that. creel. And, yeah. Tell me about the your newest acquisition. <laughs> The newest acquisition is a, a record player, basically. It's a Victor, uh, not a Victorola, but a Victor. It's 1925, so I can crank it up and play 1920s music off of a 10-inch LP or whatever they called them then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you were, you were obviously playing that today uh, yeah. while we were photographing the car. And uh, I was amazed that how it sounded. How it sounded. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, really sounded pretty cool. So, what uh, what would you tell me? What would you say is the number one thing people ask you about this car? Does it run? Does it run? Yeah. Number one question. Did you drive it? Did you drive it? Really? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, and, and they ask, you know, what kind of mileage you get, or right. and so on, and like we, yeah, smile is pretty good. Yeah, uh, right. Yeah. So, what upgrades do you have on the car to kind of make it a little bit easier to drive? Uh, mostly it's it's engine stuff, uh, high compression head, and a, a modern points and condenser and a distributor. Um, not not a lot of modifications though i mean the, the for the most part stock drivetrain uh, mechanical brakes stock transmission you know no overdrive or, or whatever it's it's kind of drive it like it would have right yeah. now d d i i noticed uh, it looks like you might have cast iron drums instead yeah. of steel drums so just obviously safety issue it stops a lot better yeah. um yeah because Back then, you'd hit the brakes on a downhill slope, and your your drum would expand from yeah. the heat, which gave you brake fade. It eventually goes away. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So that's kind of a uh, a good thing. Um, so, as far as um, motor, does that the original motor that uh, is for the chassis, or did you get a different uh, Model A motor? It's the motor that came with the chassis. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that was all kind of. Uh, now that was. Now that is. It's actually from from the Briggs. The car that my right. dad was built. My folks were building. Uh, okay. Which was a twenty nine, uh, Briggs Town sedan. Okay. Yeah. And when you originally got this car, you said it was in pieces. Did did it have a motor and transmission and yeah. frame? So yeah. The the car was all there. It was all there. Just in pieces. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Some assembly required. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I paid a thousand bucks for it. Oh my like goodness! Yeah, close to forty years ago yeah. or whatever. But yeah, that was my first basket case. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So so and that was forty years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's still. So it's amazing that you've owned this car for forty yeah. years. Uh, when you think about it, um, and. Uh, uh, what is uh, what's unique about the automobile as far as uh, a 28 goes it, it's like a time machine yeah you, you know it slows down life it's four wheel therapy for me I, I like to marinate the ride you know if it was a modern car or even a, you know 
a street rod or something like that, I'd get there fast. Yeah. And it'd be over. Right. <laughs> this, I'm like, just tool along and enjoy it, and I'll get there when I get there. So if you could take this car anywhere in the nation, what's the one thing you'd like to do? Oh, Where was the well, one drive you'd lots, like to do? There's lots of bucket lists, but... <laughs> Probably Route 66. Route 66, yeah. yeah. So you'd yeah. start in Chicago and in California? Yeah. yeah. Or go the other I, way? Yeah. I'd probably start in California and... Go to Chicago? Chicago, yeah. Chicago, yeah. Yeah. That'd be a fun drive, I'm sure. It would make, it, it would take yeah. me months, though, because everywhere I go... Right. It's a car show. Sure. <laughs> and You're a you, can't, car you can't go to the gas station or a rest area or whatever without planning on being there an hour while people ask questions or take pictures or, or whatever. It's just a magnet. Sure. Yeah. So, have a heater? No. No, right? <laughs> so, but you drive it in the winter. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, that's, um, that's my plan to get her to sit closer to me. So, and, and obviously it worked because she married yeah. you, right? Yeah. Okay, so. First date and honeymoon. First in, date in and car. honeymoon. Yeah. First date and honeymoon so, yeah. in this car. That's that's how you pick wisely. They yeah. like they okay. like that. She's a keeper. All righty, all righty. <laughs> well, obviously, uh, uh, she's definitely a keeper. Yeah. Um, and so is the car, right? <laughs> that car longer than her, but yes, both. <laughs> Hear that, honey? <laughs> so uh, um, you mentioned that this is actually sitting on your dad's. Uh, uh, your dad's chassis. Right. Any plans with your dad's car? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Going to do a Dust Bowl town sedan? Oh, I don't know about <laughs> that. I don't know. Yeah. No, Could have his and hers? You know, I yeah. don't... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, we have a 31 town sedan that's going to be hers. Okay. So that that will probably be finished before the 29 town sedan. Gotcha. Uh, Anybody ever offer, offer to buy this off you? Yeah. Yeah. And what is the typical response? You don't have enough money. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> they don't. Yeah. Well, I've, Kevin, I've thinks... been offered ridiculous. Oh, I bet. Of money. I bet. Yeah. I bet. And I'm like, <laughs> I can build five cars. <laughs> like, you know, sure. No. Sure. Well, so. Kevin was gracious enough to allow me to photograph his car last night, all day today. Kevin, I want to thank you. So much oh, for just it was bringing awesome. me around. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was. It was. It yeah. really was. I I had a blast. It was, it was a great day. Awesome. A very awesome. memorable day. Great. Well, guys, remember to like and subscribe, and have a blessed day. Uh -huh.